Have you ever bought the dip? And you were concerned it might keep dipping. You couldn't sleep at night, you were thinking and thinking. This video can solve this problem. Let me introduce to you one of the most important factors in order to minimize the loss, which is stop loss. In this video, we will explain why and what do you need to know about stop loss. Doesn't matter if you're a trader or if you're an investor. If you have a strategy and you buy in cryptocurrency according to strategy, you always have to consider the worst case scenario if your strategy fails. Smart money consider many scenarios. They leverage the information they've got and they invest according to the most possible scenario. But even if this strategy fails, which sometimes it does, they already have planned their exit point, which is stop loss. Let me simplify it with an example. Imagine the current price of Bitcoin is 34,000 and you buy one Bitcoin. And you, in your strategy, you expect the price goes up, but it doesn't and it drops 32,000. In your strategy, you expect if, if the price reaches 32,000, you're gonna sell because the selling pressure is more than you expected and your strategy fails. So you sell at 32,000, which around $2,000 loss. So you minimize your loss if you just keep dipping. So how can you find your stop loss for your strategy? You have four options. Number one, fixed stop loss. This is really depends on person to person. For example, when you invest, you don't wanna lose more than 10% of your money no matter what. So your stop loss can be 10%. Number two is trailing stops. It is really useful when you want your stop loss to follow the price of the market. Let me make it simple. Imagine you have $1,000 and you wanna buy one coin of the cryptocurrency, anything we call it X, that it worth $1,000. So you have one uh, coin of X. The price gets double, so it's around $2,000. So it worth $2,000 of your investment and you put trailing stops at 10%. That means it just follows the market and when it's picked at $2,000, when it's dropped 10%, it will activate your stop loss at 1,800. So it is following the price. So you have maximizing your profit as well. Number three, is it technical stop loss? When you're using your chart, when you're going through the chart, you find it using support and resistance on depends on your strategy and you're putting your stop loss accordingly. Number four is the asset management stop loss. I use a different category because uh, $100, $1,000 and $1 million portfolio, you have to use different risk management stop loss. So you work accordingly if you wanna invest. If you wanna trade, this is a different scenario which you have to use technical analysis, but if you wanna invest different portfolio, it requires different asset management, so different stop loss points. As the last thing that I wanna say is you have to prioritize minimizing your loss rather than maximizing your profit. And the reason is if you survive much longer than average people, you will gain in the long term more than majority of the people. So make sure put your stop loss and stay safe.